Well, it's 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon, and I've read and watched videos, etc., 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 and I finally made a new plan. Damn notch fillers. Uh, I was to this point on the build and was doing great. <laughs> Almost didn't have to look at the documentation. Uh... When I got down to right here, the harmonic notch filtering, that's when problems started coming up. I'm beginning to understand these, but I found this video. The video happens to be by the exact same person whose build I was following, well, I, I'm not following his build because I don't want this to be his build. I want it to be my build. I followed his parts list. And I've looked over his parameters. I've looked over everything. I've watched all his videos. Some of them more than once. Uh... But I found this video, and again, I can't play it because I don't know if YouTube, I don't even know if they'll get mad at me for showing this much of it. This is how far over, 4 minutes and 46, 4 minutes and 48 seconds over or so. Ah, here it is. 4 minutes and 49 seconds over in the video, and I've already made a decision. This video came out five days ago and I'll put a link I just click share so I can put a link in the description what this video is saying is basically what I was trying to do and what he's the crux of the matter this man's super intelligent so sometimes he has a little bit of a communication problem as most super intelligent people do the basic crux is this, is he's supposed to be showing you how to set up in-flight FFT using what we talked about when we get over to, uh, let's see, that's when we get to uh, uh, this. Over here, if you remember, I talked about this right here. And you'll see him start talking about this in the middle of, at the start of the video. That he's got a 4.4 branch. In other words, pre-release code. And he even offers it in the video that corrects this problem. So we do have the answer to one of my questions during my previous videos. Do not use this feature in firmware version 4.3 doesn't care what I it doesn't matter what's after the first three four point three point whatever my last video I said we don't know about four point three point one nine or one hundred or four point three point even five now we do only because of a video that came out five days ago well, in this he discusses that this problem is fixed in his branch of code that he has and offers. Then he goes into the new FFT. It looks like it's in the version 4.4. Boy, is it wild. And he starts going in and talking about parameters in... Boy, can I do it this way and cheat? <laughs> No, he's over to the RC parameters now. <laughs> he's over talking right here about perimeter 162 to use it. He's explaining in this video how to use it. You can't use it unless you get his firmware branch or wait until 4.4 comes out. But... He starts going into a bunch more of the perimeters on that, and it's just different from what I even see in my version of the firmware, 433. Uh, he, he, he's, 
I don't know, this may be his exact uh, part of the firmware he's working on. He starts talking about changing this FFT window size down here, that this is ridiculous, it won't even give enough, uh, uh, won't even let the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's not the one. He talks about these values right here. He talks about this being too low, a uh, high at 80. He wants it set down to 30 because the first harmonic in his 7-inch quad, which is exactly the parts list I'm using, is actually at 50. So he recommends dropping it down to 30 or something like that. So this really, if I went based on the part I was talking about yesterday where I just come down through here and stop at for most uses for most use uh, for most uses with other FFT related advanced perimeters at their default this is all that is required you can stop right here I talked about stopping right here and going with my auto tune but from what this video tells me mm -mm. No. The functions of this, the, the de in truth, the default perimeters of the rest of this, besides what's been told to be changed in this document, doesn't quite fit. So, I am going to go back and switch to uh, a different way of doing the telemetry. I'm going to go back to this ESC based. Let me get back all the way to it so I can uh, talk intelligently here. Okay. I think this is it. I'm beginning to. I've read this so many times. Okay, so when you're choosing how you want to go, I went down here and chose four to use the in flight FFT because this probably the best mode if the autopilot is capable of running this feature. Sorry, I'm reading it verbatim. It's a it's a translation issue. No big deal. So I went for what they said was probably the best, and it looked to me like this just figures it all out. And what he's going to tell you in that video, it will in the next firmware version. Well, no, no. The sort of manual tuning of an in-flight will be working in 4.4. It isn't completely automated yet. So because of that, I'm going to drop back to... H notch mode 3 instead of H notch mode 4. Hey, <laughs> hey, notice I changed my nomenclature on that. So, H notch mode 3 is ESC based telemetry, where the ESC provides motor RPM information, which is used to set the center frequency. This can also be used for the forward motor in the fixed wing flight. That's we had a Cessna Citation, or what was that airplane way 50 years ago in the Navy was a front dual engine airplane with a motor in front of you in the cockpit and one behind you. Pretty cool. Uh, da -da -da. This requires that your ESCs are configured correctly to support BL Heli telemetry via a serial port. I've been doing that for days. And BL Heli, I had to learn from scratch on this. See ESC telemetry for further setup instructions. If INS H notch options has bit one set, I'm going to try to start just reading this for one of the notch filters. 
then a set of notches then it creates a set of notches for each motor <laughs> then a set of notches for each motor will be created tracking its rpm telemetry otherwise the average frequency of all motors will set the center frequency not so sure which way i'm going to go on that because you see we're doing harmonics i haven't got into this yet but so you can got your first frequency and you got your first harmonic and your second harmonic. So we'll be, we'll have filters, three filters there. Then if we do them on four motors, we've got 12 filters. Uh, there's some other things going on here I haven't touched on yet. Causes that to be multiplied again to where you can get so many actual filters running, your CPU load becomes so high, you, it doesn't work. So I'm not sure if I will do this portion or not. Uh, I don't need to see ESC telemetry for further setup instructions. Mine's working. So that's the plan. And I honestly do think I kind of shot myself in the foot by going straight for mode 4. This probably the best mode if our pilot is capable of running this feature. That got me in trouble right there. I was capable, therefore I used it. So I'm going to go back in and turn all that back off. I've got to sit here and put that perimeter list back to pre-in-flight FFT. And I'm going to drop back to ESC based. Now I do have one other thing. Well, no, I don't have to talk about that now. There's another thing going on. Oh, here's the number of harmonics right here. And you can see right here they talk about. Oh, by the way, uh, each motor will get a set of these notches. If a octocopter sets up all three notches, so they're talking about a, a, a quad with eight motors instead of four. So eight threes is 24. Enable triple notches. Oh, that's how they get to 72 filters. And see, that would cause excessive CPU loading. Uh, we got a quad, so this is about half that, but it's, it still loads the CPU. Always a, a, enable only the number of harmonic notch filters actually required and be especially aware of what is being enabled if using. And, and that's the default. The default. That's over in. What? Ooh. Ah. That's over right here. Well, oh, yeah, harmonics right here. And you see the default in this column, it's a three. So you see you can get in big trouble real quick, especially if you had a octa, I mean an octa, hexa, or an octa like this. The notch filters. Other modes only provide a single set of harmonic notches. Does that mean I wouldn't have had up to three in uh, FFT mode? Don't care about that anymore. And here's a frequently tr frequency tracking, et cetera, et cetera. And this tells you how to check the uh, effectiveness of the notch filter. And you can do just double or triple. Anyway, and then you'll have to jump over in this to get to the ESC based. We're jumping over the throttle based and other two modes before this one. So this is the ESC based harmonic notch filter setup. I'm going to go down through this and set it up that way and see what happens. Based on what I've just seen in this came out five days ago if you read between the lines on that video to me it says buddy 
you were butting your head up against a wall you weren't going to move by selecting that mode because we don't quite have it ready yet. So I'm going to drop back one mode and hit this again. Uh, this happens to me in life and this is the way I deal with it. It may have looked like I wasn't I didn't have no idea what I was doing the past couple of days. And technically, I didn't, <laughs> because I've never done it before. But I learn rather quickly, and you're kind of getting to see the process, because you've seen almost everything I've done, and how I've gone through my logic about getting it done and stuff. So this is the new plan. <laughs> Uh, kind of spurred on because we went out a while ago. It's 5.13 right now. We went out a while ago and came back and the wind was zero. And I came down here and I took out a battery tester and I tested my battery and it was at 24 volts. And I said, yeah, I can go out in the front field and do my auto tune. And then my little brain, I mean a little voice in the back of my head said, no, 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 no. Don't do that. You're going to break stuff. Go back, start researching. So in the past two hours, I found this video. I'm glad I did. I think it's keeping me from making a bad mistake. And I've got a new plan. So let's start working that plan. Thank you.